It's time to get your checking account to zero with free checking from PenFed. That's zero ATM fees, zero balance requirements, and zero time spent waiting for your paycheck to direct deposit because you can receive it up to two days early. Open your account with just $25 and see how big zero can be. Apply online today at penfed.org slash free checking. Early direct deposit eligibility may vary between pay periods and timing of payers' funding. To receive any advertised product, you must become a member of PenFed, insured by NCUA. The United States Border Patrol has exciting and rewarding career opportunities with the nation's largest law enforcement organization. Border Patrol agents enjoy great pay, outstanding federal benefits, and up to $20,000 in recruitment incentives for newly appointed agents. If you are looking for a way to serve something greater than yourself, consider the United States Border Patrol. Learn more online at cbp.gov slash careers slash USBP. That's cbp.gov slash careers slash USBP. Ladies and gentlemen, the Railroad Hour. And here comes our star-studded show train. Tonight, the Association of American Railroads presents the Review of the Year, starring Gordon McRae and his famous guest from the Metropolitan Opera, Dorothy Kirsten. Our choir is under the direction of Norman Luboff, and our music is prepared and conducted by Carmen Dragon. Yes, tonight, another memorable musical evening is brought to you transcribed by the American Railroads, the same railroads that bring you the food you eat, the clothes you wear, the fuel you burn, and the multitude of other things you use in your daily life. And now, here is our star, Gordon McRae. Thank you, Marvin Miller, and good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Well, sir, it looks as if the old year is just about ready to trip on his beard and go tumbling down into history. But here on the railroad hour, we sort of hate to see the old fellow go. 1953 has been pretty good to all of us. And we wanted to throw him a farewell party. So we've invited Dorothy Kirsten, Carmen Dragon and his orchestra, and Norman Luboff's choir to help us look back over the musical good times we've had in the year just past. Gordon, is it true that you have a special guest waiting to say hello from New York? Yes, Dorothy. One of the greatest men of the American musical theater is going to join our New Year's party a little later on. But let's start off with a song we sang on the night of, uh, well, let's see. I think it was the wintry February 9th from Irving Berlin's score of Miss Liberty. And we'll stroll through the air just as if we were taking an old-fashioned walk. Hey, that's the idea. Let's take an old-fashioned walk. I'm just bursting with talk. What a tale could be told if we went for an old-fashioned walk. California six weeks early in 1953, and here on the Railroad Hour, we were singing a melodious Sigmund Romberg operetta, which includes a fitting salute to the passing of the old year.
written it for you. As we did it on February 16th of 1953. Say, Dorothy, here's a song that's perfect for you. From Sally, Jerome Kern's little dishwasher who never seems to grow old. <laughs> I know the tune you mean. Oh, you do, huh? Well, roll up your sleeves, Miss Kirsten, and start sudging those dishes. Gordon. You know what I love? All the grand old waltzes we sing together on the railroad hour. Well, as a matter of fact, we started off this year with a whole show about waltzes. People making love in three-quarter time. An operetta that was originally done in German. By Hetzen im Dreifitteltakt. You can talk plainer than that. Lawrence and Lee, have fashioned a whole summer full of new musicals, taking great stories from legend or literature, and telling them with the great melodies we all love to hear and sing. I've always liked the romance between John Ridd and Lorna Doone. You did it so well this summer. Well, thank you, Dorothy. I guess anybody who's read Lorna Doone will remember Blackmore's famous Sally of the Dunes, beautiful beyond description, yet with treachery concealed in every shadow. Ken Glendoon with its racing rill And the hills so high that they brush the sky Do you ken yon glade with the leaves like lace Where a last hides her face in the morning When the shades are black on the hill Then there was the stirring music of Anton Dvorak, set into a new American opera called Roaring Camp. Do you remember the lullaby we sang?
Long about the middle of June, we told a story about a composer who couldn't write waltzes until he got a little help from the Messrs. Tchaikovsky, Strauss, and Waltz. Then his life really became a waltz. some of the music which we have heard on the Railroad Hour in 1953, this is a good time to review what the railroads did this year in performing their big job of bringing you almost everything you eat, wear, and use. In 1953, America's railroads ran their trains with new record efficiency. Yes, still better railroad service and even greater operating economy were the highlights of the railroad year of 1953. And to a large extent, these new records in operating efficiency are the result of the railroad's continuing expansion and improvement program. Investment in new facilities and equipment amounted to well over $1 billion in 1953, and this was the sixth consecutive year in which the railroad spent over the billion-dollar mark in order to bring you continually better, more efficient railroad service. All in all, since the end of World War II, the railroads have spent more than $9 billion on improvements of all sorts. What has that money bought? Well, in 1953, more than 2,000 powerful, efficient new diesel locomotive units added their pulling power to the nation's railroads. About 80,000 new, larger, and stronger freight cars joined the huge fleet of cars that carry the bulk of the nation's freight, moving more tons, more miles, than all other forms of transportation combined. In addition, freight yards and terminals, signal communication systems, were still further expanded and improved. All along the line, in fact, everything that goes into making a railroad run was the subject of constant research and improvement. Looking ahead to 1954, you can be sure your railroads will do everything within their power to provide the transportation service so essential to our commerce, so indispensable to our security. <laughs> Now, here is Act Two of the Railroad Hour Review of the Year, starring Gordon McRae and his famous guest, Dorothy Kirsten. <laughs> Folks, we're having a New Year's party. We're raising a toast, you might say, to the most exciting musical moments we've had in 1953. What are we using for a toast, Gordon? Well, this was no coward's choice in Bittersweet, Dorothy. Oh, 
Claiming you, the claiming you, the fire in you. About May, the Railroad Hour did a show called Mary, with book and lyrics by Otto Harmach. And there was one song in that score that no one can ever forget. Uh, Dorothy, this has to be a duet. I'm right beside you, Gordy. Well, go ahead. Just a love man, cozy with charm, like a sovereign down on a farm. You know, Dorothy, no railroad hour season could be complete without a score from the great Rudolph Bremel. He was our guest on one of the summer shows, and we dramatized his life story. And he played one of his newest compositions. I remember, Gordon, and it was exciting. It certainly was. You know, his first American show, Dorothy, was The Firefly. Everyone loved it on Broadway, just as they seem to love it when we do it on the railroad hour. I think that uh, you should be the Firefly, Dorothy. <laughs> Shall I light up in the dark? No, uh... <laughs> Just sing Giannina Mia.
same man who wrote that song also wrote Giannina Mia and Mary and a hundred other hits. And who can forget this great tune he wrote with Jerome Kern and Oscar Hammerstein II. second. <laughs> Perhaps his greatest show was Roberta, which includes this classic of modern music. Dorothy? songs and plays which have become a part of your life and mine, this distinguished gentleman is waiting right now to speak to you from his home in New York City. The Railroad Hour proudly salutes Mr. Otto Harbach, the Dean of American Musical Playwrights. Thank you, Gordon. How good it is to join you at a year's end. I wonder if you know what a thrill I get when a Monday night rolls around and you sing so beautifully the shows of yesterday and today. I close my eyes and each Monday night seems like an opening night all over again. I know Rudolph Primmel is listening tonight from San Francisco. Who knows, perhaps our old friends Jerry Kern and Romy and Vincent Humans are listening too, as through their music they have been speaking to us. As a matter of fact, yesterday does speak to us through music in a language that never changes. As long as people all across the world can sing together and smile at a stage romance, there's hope for all of us. I'd like to thank my many friends on the Railroad Hour for doing so much to keep America a smiling, singing nation. And my best wishes to you all for... 1954. Thank you, Mr. Harbach, and a happy new year to you and all of your loved ones. Dear friends, to close our remembrances of 1953 and to look forward to the challenge and promise of 1954, I'd like to ask Dorothy, Carmen, Norman, and all of you to join me in a song from Carousel by Rodgers and Hammerstein. It's almost a hymn, really. A hymn of faith. Oh, Lord. 
Dorothy Kirsten will return in just a moment. The Railroad Hour is brought to you each week at the same time by the American Railroad. And all of us in the Railroad Hour family hope that all of you have a happy holiday. Happy holiday. Happy holiday. Happy holiday. May the calendar keep ringing. Happy holiday. In 1953, America grew stronger and Americans lived better as the nation's productive might continued to grow. And your railroads, an essential part of all production, played a mighty important part in that progress as they set new records for operating efficiency. No, we could not have lived as well as we did and the nation could not have produced as much as it did without 1953's record railroad efficiency. And that record of improved efficiency is good news for all of us. For now, as always, better railroads mean more and better goods, a higher standard of living for all. Now, here again is the captivating Miss Dorothy Kirsten. And by the way, we're looking forward to seeing you often in 1954. Will you ask me back again as soon as I finish my concert tour? Well, how about the Great Waltz for the 1st of March? That's a date. But what about next week? Just listen. Mr. Frimmel at his best. You bet. And we'll have two guests, Lucille Norman and Jane Stewart Smith, when we welcome 1954 with the Vagabond King. I'll be listening. Good night, Gordon. Good night, Dorothy, and a happy, happy New Year. All aboard! Well, folks, it looks like we're ready to pull out. And so until next Monday night and Rudolph Frimmel's Vagabond King, this is your friend Gordon McRae saying good night on behalf of the other members of the cast and of the American Railroad. We wish you all a happy, safe, and prosperous 1954. The Railroad Hour was transcribed in Hollywood. Gordon McRae can be seen in Three Sailors and a Girl in Technicolor. Our choir is under the direction of Norman Luboff. Our music is prepared and conducted by Carmen Dragon. And our script is by Lawrence and Lee. This is Marvin Miller saying goodbye until next week for the American Railroad. Now stay tuned for your Monday night of music on NBC. Tonight, the voice of Firestone features Nadine Connor and George London on the NBC radio network. It's time to get your checking account to zero with free checking from PenFed. That's zero ATM fees, zero balance requirements, and zero time spent waiting for your paycheck to direct deposit because you can receive it up to two days early. Open your account with just $25 and see how big zero can be. Apply online today at PenFed.org slash free checking. Early direct deposit eligibility may vary between pay periods and timing of payers' funding. To receive any advertised product, you must become a member of PenFed, insured by NCUA. Hello, it is Ryan, and I was on a flight the other day playing one of my favorite social spin slot games on ChumbaCasino.com. I looked over at the person sitting next to me, and you know what they were doing? They were also playing Chumba Casino. Coincidence? I think not. Everybody's loving having fun with it. Chumba Casino is home to hundreds of casino-style games that you can play for free anytime, anywhere, even at 30,000 feet. So sign up now at ChumbaCasino.com to claim your free welcome bonus. That's ChumbaCasino.com and live the Chumba life. No purchase necessary. BGW. Void. We're prohibited by law. See terms and conditions. 18 plus.